The Stanley 72 and a half. Unlike half sizes in other Stanley planes, where they are generally wider and bigger, except for in the sake of the number 10, the Stanley 72 and a half is actually an adapter. That's all it is. The Stanley 72, as we know, comes with the standard long toe, the bull nose toe, the half is an optional extra. The half takes the same scratch blades that the number 66 takes and is effectively a beading plane on a chamfer. So what you do with a 66, which is utilize the 66 to scratch in the shape of the scratch plate into the timber. With multiple passes, it slowly scratches away the timber in the same spot, leaving the shape of the scratch plate. The 72 takes this adapter, slides in and applies the same mechanism on the chamfer. So after you've done your chamfer, you want to turn it into a mould with a couple of grooves. You then add your half attachment and you scratch it on. The difference is that with the half attachment, you'll note that it leans forward. So there's the vertical of the plane. And as you can see, the attachment has a forward lean on it. So that forward rake enables this piece to scratch in the timber as you push the plane forward. So as we have it on the angle and we scratch forward, it will take scratches of the timber, eventually leaving the shape of the scratch plate on that chamfer side. And you can create some really nice mouldings with that. It will take any of the attachments of the 66 as far as the scratch plates are concerned. They all just drop into here and get locked into place with this screw. Now, those eagle eye amongst you may have noticed that there's actually two parts of an adjustment screw here. So this section here is actually a micro adjuster. It leaves this bottom section a little bit loose, but as you are pushing forward, the timber's pushing back, that looseness is not noticed. You'd notice that if you're pulling backwards without lifting your plane, but that actually allows a little bit of room for the scratch plate to be lifted off and dropped back down again. Now, the idea is that you don't want a scratch plate to take the whole section at once. And as with taking the chamfer in the first place, your depth of cut is managed by how much the blade drops out the bottom of the toe. Similarly, the scratch depth is taken by how much the scratch plate sits down, not from the toe, but from the plane itself. So since the plane is going to be riding the timber at its depth, and you will set the half based on the full depth and full position of the plane. The idea being that we want to set the scratch at the same place every single pass so that we have nice controlled lines. You will hit a point as you're doing this where you're not really taking anything more. And that's where the micro adjuster comes into play. By giving the micro adjuster a slight turn, you lower the scratch plate a little bit more into the timber and can continue to take your scratches of the timber in those same lines until you run out again and you can then lower it a little bit more and you just keep going. Now, eventually what happens is that section, based on this scratch plate, 
based on this scratch plate, which is a round, will become a round. But it's not a round flat on the timber, it's a, flat, it's a round 45 degree angle on the chamfer of the timber. Of course, you have all the different sizes and multiple rounds and angles, etc., that are available in the scratch plates. And of course, you can make your own, own patterns in the scratch plates. When they're applied to the 72 and a half, they're always applying at a 45 degree angle to the timber, which just gives you another depth of dimension on creating your beads. And it enables you to create some beads that are actually difficult to create with a router. And for that reason, the 72 and a half, although I don't use it very often, I've found when I have used it and I've had need to use it, it's created a lovely result that I've not been able to replicate with electric equipment very easily. Of course, anything can be replicated with electric equipment. Um, the issue is that this is done easily, whereas the electric equipment can't always do that 45 degree angle easily on a budget. You have to spend a bit more money on your equipment to be able to do that or spend a bit more time creating jigs to set it up. Whereas this is done very quickly. So that's the 72 and a half, which unlike other planes is no more than an adapter. Whether you're collecting or using, happy hunting.